The US Naval War College writes that to fight extremism, you have to educate the discontent out of the insurgents. If you teach a slave that his position in life is to be a slave, chances are many of them will accept it without revolt. When slaves were brought to the Cape and those who were born here, those from the indigenous core tribes they were given new surnames by their owners. Often after the months of the year, that's why many Cape Tonians have surnames such as January or November. Those born as slaves in the household tended to be named after the family or biblical names such as Jacob's. People might have the same surname but most times had not been related to each other. Today Jacob's and January are very common surnames in the Cape. One might ask why this is important. It is said that when you remove their language you destroy their culture. When you remove their history, you remove their future. It was Seretz Karma, the first president of Botswana, who said a people without a history is a people without a soul. In 2016, a company called Geometry produced a slave calendar, which features 12 Cape Tonians, whose surnames are those of the months. Mrs. July said, I don't know much about slavery in the Cape. I didn't know slaves were given calendar surnames. Mr. June was no different. He said that when I was young I didn't know we had some kind of history in slavery. Miss August was surprised and said I didn't know. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. The rest of the participants were no different. As descendants of the indigenous of the Cape, the history was removed under the apartheid educational system. There was never speak of First Nation status. No homeland like those of the Bantu. No mention that Griqualand West and Griqualand East existed before invasion by the British. post apartheid has been no different, and nothing more than an extension of the old system. Nothing has changed. With no history being taught, or coherent identity, coloreds have been unable to self-actualize. They have been unable to solve their own problems. When slavery ended in the Caribbean, many slaves remained as they did not know how to live without being told how. Today, the most violent towns in South Africa are in colored communities. The soullessness has created a monster. Yet today, many coloreds still politically support white political parties who have no interest in their issues. This instead of creating and supporting their own. Without self-actualization, coloreds have become the perfect slaves. As the saying goes, I freed a thousand slaves. I could have freed a thousand more. If only they knew that they were slaves. The legacy of apartheid and colonialism has a long tail in the colored community. Only time will tell if the tide will turn and the plantation mentality dies out. It's to set a people free. So they too can have their day in the sun.